Hello S2 and welcome to your next lesson on World War 1. Now in your jotters, or if you're doing this in a Word document, if you're typing this up, if you could take a new heading for today, which is the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Now our aims in this lesson, what we are going to do, we're going to look to understand who was involved in the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, and to understand how one event triggered World War 1, so how this assassination of Franz Ferdinand triggered the start of World War One. Now the picture at the bottom there is obviously showing the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and we'll discuss today more details about that. So that is our two main aims for today. So in your jotters, if you make sure you've got the heading, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Now the assassination, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife, this was critical in setting off the chain of events that led to the First World War. Now not only was this a very bad day for the Archduke and his family, but also a very bad day for Europe, because his assassination triggered a series of events that would eventually lead to the start of World War I. As we discussed last lesson, you'll see that the Washington Times, Serb student assassinates Archduke and his Duchess. Now, task one, what we're looking to do is to complete a CSI, so a Crime Scene Investigation Crime Table here. So we have in our table the event and assassination. So the event that we're looking at is the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Now down the side of your table you've got victims, so you need to add in who the victims were. The murderer, so who committed this assassination. Where it happened, when it happened and what actually happened. We have in your table filled out as well impact, so the impact of this assassination is it sets off chain of events that leads to World War One. So you're looking to fill in the victims, the murderer, where it happened, when it happened, what happened. And how you're going to fill this out is through the information that you're going to get on the next few slides. So I'd pause the video at this point and make sure you draw this table into your jotter. If you don't want to do it as a table, we'll just take it in note form and that is fine. But we're looking to make sure that we have this information filled out and this will look or this will help us to achieve our first aim today, which is to understand who was involved in this assassination. Okay, so the victim. The victim was Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Now, he was the nephew of the Emperor of Austria-Hungary. He was also the heir to the Austrian-Hungarian throne. So he is one of the victims, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. The other victim is his pregnant wife, Sophia. Now, they were both killed when they were on a visit to Sarajevo in 1914. Now they were in Sarajevo in an attempt to improve relations between the monarchy and the people. So their trip there is meant to improve relations but ultimately it leads to the death of both the Archduke and his wife Sophia. Now the murderer in this event is a man called Gabriel Princip. Now he was a member of the Black Hand Gang and they were a terrorist group. Now he took this opportunity while he could and shot and killed the Archduke and his wife and he was only 20 years old when he actually killed the Archduke. Now the reason he kills the Archduke through his Black Hand Gang is that they don't like the fact that Austria-Hungary is trying to expand its empire. They don't want Austria-Hungary to be taking over any more land so they are looking to kill the Archduke and his wife because they ultimately represent Austria-Hungary and the power that it has. Now the Black Hand Gang they are a bunch of Bosnian Serbs who really, really hated Austria-Hungary, as I've just said there. Now, seven of its members actually planned to kill the heir to the Austrian Empire, which was Archduke Franz Ferdinand. So they had it all planned out to kill him. Now, where and when they actually kill him? They kill him in Sarajevo, which is the capital of Bosnia. And this takes place on the 28th of June, 1914. So, as you see with the map on your right-hand side there, Austria-Hungary is a large country at this time, it's looking to expand its empire. Ultimately, the Black Hand Gang and other countries like Serbia don't want this to happen, so they are looking to assassinate the Archduke. So it takes place in Sarajevo, which is the capital of Bosnia, on the 28th of June 1914. Now what actually happened? Now, the day of their visit, the young assassins, the Black Hand Gang, waited along the route that the Archduke and his wife were taking in their car. Now a bomb, slash grenade was actually thrown and exploded but missed the Archduke's car, so that was one attempt to kill him. Now, the Archduke insisted on visiting the injured people in the hostel but the driver goes on a different route. Now what happened next was a complete coincidence. 19 year old Gavriel Princess steps out of a shop after having bought a sandwich and he sees the Archduke right in front of his eyes in the car and he fires two shots. Once he's fired those two shots, 
Princep then tries to commit suicide, but he failed. He tried to swallow some poison, but failed, and he is arrested. And that picture there is also a reconstruction to show you apparently what happened. So you've got Princep there with a the gun shooting the wife, uh, Sophia, and the Archduke himself. And this image here actually shows the Archduke and his wife in their coffins. So it was quite tradition at this time that the coffins were laid open for family members in particular to see the victims, but that is the Archduke and his wife there. Now, this assassination obviously quickly spread, the news spread across the world. So you've got the New York Times here which says, heir to Austria's throne is slain with his wife by a Bosnian youth to avenge seizure of his country. So what that's saying there is ultimately the Balkan gang don't want Austria-Hungary to be taken over their country, so they went and killed the Archduke and his wife, and that's a picture of the Archduke and his wife there. We've got here another story. A couple were shot dead while riding in an auto through the Bosnian capital. Heir to Austrian throne murder. So how this triggered war? Now, Austria-Hungary was furious about the fact that ultimately Archduke and his wife had been killed, and they accused the Serbian government of planning the assassination. Now, Austria-Hungary sent a 10-point ultimatum to Serbia demanding that they took the blame and they accept all 10 points there. And when they wouldn't, Austria declared war. So what happens is this in the summer of 1914. So you imagine the battle there at the end is World War I having started. And this is the chain of events that leads to World War I starting. So 28th of June, the assassination of the Archduke and his wife in Sarajevo. So that takes place on 28th of June 1914. On the 5th of July, Germany then agreed to support Austria-Hungary in any of its advances to ultimately deal with this assassination. On the 23rd of July, Austria sent an ultimatum of 10 demands to Serbia and said you must accept all 10. Now on the 25th of July, just two days later, Serbia rejected two of the demands that were sent by Austria. And on the 28th of July, Austria attacked Serbia. Now on the 29th of July, this is where our, our alliance has come into play here, Russia prepared its troops to go and help Serbia. Now remember, Germany has, agree Germany has agreed to support Austria here, so you have Germany supporting Austria on one side, and now you have Russia about to support Serbia on the other side. On the 30th of July, Russia ordered the full mobilisation of its troops. And on the 31st of July, Germany told Russia to stop mobilisation. This then meant on the 1st of August, Germany then declared war on Russia. And on the 3rd of August, Germany then declared war on France, and World War I has officially begun. On the 4th of August, Germany then invades Belgium, and the reason it invades Belgium, it invades Belgium to attack France, so it goes through Belgium, because Belgium is quite a flat country. The border between Germany and France was quite mountainous, so it was easier to attack through Belgium. And because Germany had invaded through Belgium, Britain a long time before had promised to defend Belgium against any sort of invasion. Because Germany did this, Britain then declared war on Germany. So now we have World War One started. Okay, so task number one was your CSI crime table, so we should now have this filled out. You should now know who the victims were, so you'll be able to fill that in. The murderer, where this happened, when it happened, and what actually happened. Okay, task number two, what we're looking to do next, using the information from our table there that we've just complete. We're looking to answer a describe question. Now your question is this, describe the events in Sarajevo on the 28th of June 1914. It's worth four marks. So remember, the describe question is just four simple points. So you've got here started off for you, there are many things that happened on the 28th of June 1914. Firstly, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife came from Austria-Hungary to visit. So there's one point. So you just need to give three more points there about what actually happened on the 28th of June 1914 in Sarajevo. So try and give some details about what took place. So again, you might want to pause the video at this point to complete this question. Okay, you've now looked at the causes of World War One. So we've called militarism, about countries building up their armies to compete against each other. You've called alliances with the Triple Alliance and the Triple Entente. You've looked at imperialism, so countries trying to grab land, especially in Africa, and build up their empires. And you've looked at nationalism. The nationalism links quite closely to this assassination here, all about countries being proud of their own country and wanting to remain independent. And the event that triggers it all off is obviously the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. So task number three here, the question is, which do you think is the most important reason or reasons for World War I starting and why? So you need to give a reason here for your answer. So you decide which reason, or if you think there's more than one reason, which reasons are the most important for World War I starting, and you're looking to answer this question. 
in your jotter. Now there's no right or wrong answer here, it's your own opinion on what you think was the most important reason or reasons that were all once started. Okay, your last task for today, task number four, is your challenge is to create your own storyboard or cartoon script about why we were once started. And you can mention any factors you've covered, including the assassination. Now your success criteria for this task here, what you need to make sure you have, is your storyboard slash cartoon script should be at least six boxes. You should have pictures and words included, and it should clearly tell the reader why we were once started. Now I'm going to show you some images over the next few slides which will help you with this cartoon script which just details what we have covered with the assassination. So you have here 28th of June, the heir to the Austrian-Hungarian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife are assassinated in Bosnia. Austria blames Serbia for the killing of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. And Austria declares war on Serbia. Now Belgrade, which is in Serbia, is actually shelled by the Austrians. The Russian army got aid to help Serbia defend itself against the Austro-Hungarian attack. Germany, Austria's ally, sends a demand to Russia ordering it to hold back from helping Serbia. Germany declares war on Russia and it also begins to move its army towards France, which is also Russia's ally. The French army is put on a war footing and they're ready to fight a German invasion. And to complete the picture, picture Austria declares war on Russia. Germany then declares war on France and invades neutral Belgium and then Britain orders Germany to withdraw from Belgium and because the Germans are still in Belgium, Britain then declares war on Germany and we have World War One started. So those images there and those pictures should help you when it comes to your storyboard as well. Okay, so our two main aims today were to understand who was involved in the assassination of France Ferdinand which we've covered through your CSI crime table and to understand how one event triggered World War One, and we've looked at why that one event then led to World War One. So what you're looking to upload via Teams for this lesson here is your CSI, the completed CSI table, your answer to the describe question and your answer to which reason you think is the most important for everyone starting and your storyboard slash cartoon strip. If you have any questions about anything that's been mentioned in this lesson or anything you're not sure about, then just let your teacher know. Thank you very much.